Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about Friday, the 7th of October. Today the moon is in Pisces and the sun is in Libra. So it should be a beautiful, gorgeous day. If you're Pisces, if you're Cancer, if you're Scorpio, also if you are Taurus and if you are, um, let me see, if you're Capricorn. So how's it going to be for all signs, knowing that the moon will be in Pisces, will stay in Pisces till Saturday, 4 p.m. Universal Time. Aries, this is a, I think, this is a, an exhausting day. It, it may deplete your energy, or let me say rather your energy can be easily depleted by anything. It's because the moon is in um, Pisces, which means that everything slows down. Everything is uh, on very low fire, slow fire, and nothing works. It seems like everything is is empty. You come back empty handed. Things may get delayed, disappointed. You end up being frustrated. Add to it that the sun is opposing your sign, meaning that most probably there can be some oppositions. It's not an easy day. You need to have a plan B. Taurus, this is a very nice day if you want to be active, if you want to take part in activities, this can be a very, very rewarding day. It's one of those <clears throat> interesting kind of days when um, something happens and brings out the best in you. It's like some activity can uh, attract attention or send some spotlight, put some spotlights on you. Uh, maybe someone needs help and all of a sudden there's uh, someone needs help and and then Taurus is there and Taurus is the one who um, ends up being the, the hero. So this can be a very nice, beautiful day. Gemini, uh, the sun is, um, excuse me, the moon is in the highest point in your sky, which means that you have to be ready. Some responsibilities may be tough today, but remember that Venus and the sun are in Libra, meaning that today, this today, can be a, a day where you can actually celebrate your success. So this means that you have to give your best. You have to put your best. You have to enjoy what you're doing or at least be professional about it. This is one of the most important days. The quality of time is superior. But remember, planet Mars asks you to be very careful if you were born between the 12th and the 14th of June. Moving to Cancer, I love this day, Cancerians, it's a beautiful day. It seems there's some kind of agreement, there's some kind of peaceful resolution, and it can be something very positive. Maybe it's your, um, it's your subconscious, or maybe it's your conscious mind, or maybe your awareness, or maybe finally you, uh, uh, you came to a conclusion that you should be happy no matter what happens. It can be a beautiful day, especially with your loved ones. So try to enjoy this beautiful day. It stays, it extends. These beautiful vibes, they extend till tomorrow, Saturday, 4 p.m. Universal time. <clears throat> Let's move now to Leo. Leo, I think this is a day to stand on your feet and actually face whatever went wrong in the past two days. I think today is a nice day for things to get moving. Maybe they uh, were delayed. They were actually paused on pause or on hold. So today is a nice day to get back on your feet and start working on whatever needs to be worked on. Wrap things up. Today is good. Saturday is good and Sunday is even better. So it depends what you want to do, but don't lag behind. Virgo, the moon in Pisces may actually disturb your peace of mind. Maybe you feel anxious or maybe you feel a bit um, angry, sad, frustrated. Uh, it's a long day and maybe you had other plans. So try to be patient, try to be, uh, try to enjoy what's happening around you and uh, try to find some answers, peaceful answers. Uh, I think today you can be very helpful. You have a lot of energy inside you, and I think you can actually uh, play a good role. You have a nice role to play today. Try to be as professional as possible, okay? Moving to Libra, I think Libra is one of the busiest signs today. The Sun and Venus are in your sign. Uh, giving you a lot of energy and a lot of success and great news, great vibes. Uh, Jupiter, which is in Aries, also sending you great uh, help. 
and support. Um, the moon, which is in Pisces, it's the uh, uh, sixth house, means that there's a lot of work to, uh, to be done, a lot of energy to be spent and depleted. So you have to pay attention. It can cause some physical pain or some physical exhaustion. Uh, it can be a new job, a new work, a new task. So pay attention to that. You can be very lucky if you were born between the 3rd and the 6th of October, even the 2nd of October. Let's move now to Scorpio with the moon in, um, uh, in Pisces. You seem to be lucky today. You seem to be in a hurry also because maybe you feel deep down that um, you feel that there is a possibility today to win. And you're right. Today is a beautiful day for you to make a, cha a change. To, to introduce a change in your day and I think you can be very very successful it's a beautiful day um, everything anything is possible so go ahead and uh, and make a statement go ahead and do something about it you will enjoy this beautiful gorgeous day everybody will be lucky Let's move now to Sagittarius. Maybe it's your loved ones that keep bugging you today. Maybe they annoy you today. Maybe they wake you up earlier than usual. It's not um, a negative day. It's just a busy day. And maybe it starts earlier than usual. Maybe because of, as I said, maybe your children, maybe the neighbors, maybe you're worried you did not sleep very well, uh, but it's not a negative day. Uh, certain things may take some time, but it is in general a beautiful, good day. Nothing to worry about. Let's move now to Capricorn. Capricorn, I love this day for you because it brings out the best of ideas uh, from you, from inside you. People will be astonished, surprised, like, how did you remember who said this? How come you still remember these beautiful things? So there is uh, great creativity today, even at work, even at the office, because you seem to come up with all these brilliant ideas. From where did, you, did they come? From this bank of memory that you have out of the blue, they all come out. And this is the beauty of uh, the moon in Pisces. That's why this you should like the moon in Pisces, because it accelerates everything. It energizes your mind and your uh, body. Okay. Let's uh, move now to, uh, <clears throat> let's move now to uh, Aquarius. Aquarius with the moon in the second house, second house of money. I think today is a beautiful day. I think today is a very nice day that will actually uh, help you, um, let me see, uh, give your best. It will help you, it will push you to give the best that you can because you want great results, because you want great, uh, you want high grades. Uh, you want the best evaluation possible and today you can win. It's a very nice day. Add to it that the sun and Venus are in Libra in the ninth house, which uh, will help you to spread your wings. So go ahead and show how brilliant you are. Go ahead and see the world, how the universe will help you today. It's a beautiful day. It's very encouraging and very um, empowering. Uh, just mind your expenses. Let's move now to Pisces. Pisces with the moon in your sign. Today is the day. Today is a day to make up your mind on something. This is a day if you want to invent something. This is a great day. It's one of those beautiful days when Pisces seems to be the, the first one to talk and the last one to talk because you seem to have the final answer and the final say. So in all cases, you can expect today uh, between today and 4 p.m. Saturday, universal time, to get something done or to get something wrapped up, meaning that finalized. So you can enjoy, enjoy beautiful, beautiful time and um, you'll be very happy. Something that was um, actually on hold or maybe you're waiting for it will, will appear, maybe out of a sudden. Uh, if you... Uh, go ahead and push some buttons. You'll get the answer that you want. So basically, this is it. I wish you all a beautiful, gorgeous day. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.